Good morning guys. I am in the parking lot. I just dropped off Luca. I'm going to go get myself a quick coffee. It is snowing in Montreal, believe it or not. I'm wearing a cute little line and dot like fluffy sweater and a trench coat. I'm going to Zadigue Voltaire this morning. I'm going to go do some styling stuff with them. So I thought I would do a styling video slash vlog at the same time and bring you guys along. I did some new makeup today that I am incredibly into. I'll show you guys a little bit later in the vlog, but I just want to pop in, say good morning. Happy Happy Wednesday. See you in a bit. All right, so I just got home. I just picked up my camera equipment. We're going to go to Zadig Voltaire. We're going to preview the spring collection. So I thought it would be really awesome to bring you guys along. They actually have a store in Westmount. So I'm gonna go there. I convinced my sister to come with me. So she'll be behind the camera while I do some try-ons for you guys. I think it's gonna be a fun morning. We'll get to see the new collection, all the new pieces. I was talking to their PR girl and she was showing me all the spring dresses. They are beyond. So I can't wait to go try them on show you guys what's going on and i think it's gonna be a fun vlog oh also i have a nail appointment this afternoon then i have to pay some taxes like we got a lot going on today let me show you guys quickly actually i'll wait until i put on my trench coat back on i was going to show you my outfit of the day but really my outfit doesn't look like much until i put on my trench my shoes and my bag so here is the full look my oversized dior trench the jeans prada bag yeah this is a good look and then little Chanel shoes. There's a little bit of snow on water, which is actually perfect for patent. These were such a good purchase. Have you guys checked out Retage, by the way? They're like shoe selection because they really have a good selection. Actually, even my trench is Retage. I just picked up my sister. We decided to walk. Kind of cold. Not quite sure why we decided to walk. I'm also underdressed. <laughs> Are you walking ahead of me? Yeah, good <laughs> it is cold, guys. So we're just walking to Zedzig now. We're going to be there in like five minutes. It's just very hilly and we're walking downhill now. And it's kind of slippery in my little Chanel shoes. So we'll see you at the store. Melissa, nice yeah. to meet you. My sister, Sarah. I'm the video she's, a, she's behind the scenes. Okay, so here are my looks that I'm going to try on. These are the ones I am quasi-obsessed with. Let's try them on. We're gonna have a behind the scenes, my sister filming for us. And here's my look that I walked in the snow with and froze my, my butt off. All right, so we have look number one, wash leather shorts. They're like a crinkled leather, which I love. If you guys know my trick, I like when the short is nice and loose around here if you go short make sure you're loose here makes your thighs look slimmer sweater i'm doing a cashmere sweater i love that it has this star detail right here on the elbow matches back to the combat boot detail with the black Zadigue Voltaire, black and red Zadigue Voltaire right here their new collection combat boots you guys also know how i feel about combat boots for the summer it's a good look especially when you wear short shorts close up on the bag that same crinkled leather, love the look. It's like a half patent, which is no lie, kind of perfect for today's weather. So look number one, I'll insert the picture here. You guys will be able to pick which look is your favorite. Okay, look number two, I'm kind of obsessed, I'm not gonna lie. I would do my pin to the bra trick right here so the V holds nice and low. Ugh, good, right Sarah? Yes. Some behind the scene. Yes, we like this. 
Okay, we love this. This is the back close up. We're doing a little velvet leather trim moment, a small strap. The dress is everything. Combat boots, again, just because I feel like they just go with everything. You really can't go wrong with combat boots. I love this dress. Is this birthday dress contender? Definitely. Like day birthday dress. Like it's my birthday, yay. And then Even in the evening. I find this very evening. The fabric. With like a nice high heel. Yes. The fabric is very evening. I love this. So into it. Okay, last look. I really wanted to do one of their cami dresses because I love camis, but you guys know me. I have huge boobs and I don't necessarily love them. So I love this idea of putting the t-shirt underneath. Nice fitted tee. I like that there's the printed words. Throw on a cute dress. It looks, I think if you're taller, you can pull it off without the belt, but because I'm so petite and I'm wearing it with combat boots, I love the idea of a thin belt just kind of wrapped around just to kind of cinch in the silhouette a little bit. Good look at the back. And again, same combat boots because I'm obsessed with them and I need them in my life. So look number three. Let me know down below what you think. Which one's your favorite? All right, so I bought a piece for myself. I can't wait to go home and try it on for you guys. Stopping by West Mount Square to pick up my favorite sushi. This day is becoming better and better and better. So my spot, picked up my favorite. Let's go. I feel so bad. This place is usually so packed during the week. And in case you didn't know, they validate your parking when you buy stuff. So I pick up sushi, they validate the parking. Kind of awesome. Can we seriously talk though? Like there's actually snow sticking. Look, my flowers were coming out and now there's snow all over them. And this, these are my shoes. <laughs> All right, I just got back home. I just took a tripod picture. I'm going to edit it now, put it on Instagram. It's a dress that I picked up from Zadigie Voltaire. Ooh, the laptop light is giving me a good look. <sighs> I have my lunch here. Let me show you guys what I got. So, Sushi Barkin. You guys know that's where I was. It's my favorite. If you guys are in Montreal and you have not been to Sushi Bar Kim yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Crunchy salmon. I'm salivating right now. So crunchy salmon, club sandwich, and these are red tuna. Cow Piggy is also salivating next to me. No Cow Piggy, no, 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 no. All right, my nails are crazy overdue. I should have done them on Friday and I didn't have a chance. So let's get this taken care of. This is like disaster. I feel like a new human again. Oh my god. Yes, cow piggy. Oh. Hi, babe. Hi, little papa. Do you guys hear him purring? Such a little papa. Look at the snow, guys. Look at the snow. I can't believe it. I'm about to go pick up Luca. I'm listening to some Beyonce. I'm like in the zone. It's still snowing outside. Check the weather for tomorrow. It's not supposed to be that bad, but I'm in the Beyonce zone. So I'm gonna continue listening to my music, but I just wanted to pop in, say I'm about to go pick up Luca. Outfit, yes, I'm wearing the turtleneck I thought I was done with for the year, but guess not. All right, so I just picked up Luca, and we are gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna pick up some flowers. Mama, yes. My lung, my, my bubble from my lungs, I drank water and it went away. You had a bubble in your lungs? I drank water and then it felt better and then it went away. Good job! So now we're gonna go get flowers? Mm -hmm. Do we go pick them together? Okay, what color do you think you're gonna want? I will like red. All right, let's do it, Ladybug. Okay, what are we gonna go get? Flowers. What color flower are you gonna go with? Rainbow. Rainbow? Pick the flowers with the beautiful butterfly, right? And what else did you get? Timbits. And then mommy picked up yellow tulips, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna be so beautiful. 
Okay, but don't put it too close to the edge. I know the caddy's gonna make it false. So we have two yellow tulips, and we have Lucas flowers over there. Beautiful. Are we putting them on the table? Yeah. Okay, show me how you're gonna do it. Beautiful. Put them in the middle. And the you run. Here. Careful, this one's a little bit heavier. There we go. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Do you like it? Yeah. It makes us feel like it's not so snowy outside, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, it's mommy's favorite flowers. And my other favorite flowers. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna make a halloumi salad. Halloumi is one of my favorite cheeses, so I'm really looking forward to that. Chopping up the veggies as we speak. We got the halloumi, we have the kalamata olives. Just finished doing the couscous, it's under there. See how it's gonna taste. All right, so Luca is our official sauce maker, correct? Yeah. So this is gonna be the dressing for the halloumi. We did, let me see, it was red wine vinegar, the bottom of the scallions, three tablespoons of olive oil, and the spice blend. Now the halloumi is cooking, the veggies are all cut up, the couscous is ready. This is gonna be good. So we did a deconstructed halloumi salad for Luca. That's her couscous, the halloumi, the cucumber, olives, and tomato. And here is the grown-up version of the halloumi salad. I'm about to put the dressing on top and it's gonna be delish. I still can't believe I made this. This looks so good. guys we are going to bid you farewell on tonight's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a bit of everything some fashion some work some mail some family you got it all today hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow bye guys